engineered robot, Mortis, from Cambridge University. Yeah. Describe what you've done to this robot. Um, I think everything. We've got aerospace grade materials off as many people as we could. It's all aerospace aluminium, titanium, carbon fibre, Kevlar, really top grade stuff. Do you think you can win? I think we may have a chance, yeah. And Mortis with that piercing Japanese blade. Oh, that's not too much of a weapon, is it, really? Oh, and that is! Look at that Japanese blade! Thrusting down! Lee Bot! Pepper Pot! You could pour pepper out of that Lee Bot machine now! Look at the holes! But what's Mortis doing? Maybe dropping off for another chance, but going very dangerously near a patrol area in the corner. And the house robot could come in and dance for Tilda in there, and there are spikes to come up from the floor. But Mortis is out to attack Lee Bot again, and underneath Lee Bot. Could he flip him over if he does? It's all over! And it is all over! The mule! You know How what? far is it going to kick? Off the stage, into the pit, into oblivion. Into orbit? I think I'm not. This could be a leading contender. The dummy throws Matilda the wrong way. There go the tusks. But at 80 kilograms, the mule is too heavy to flip, it would see. Is it mobile enough to get beyond the spike and then dart beyond the sentinel? Controlling those kicking legs goes beyond the sentinel. Matilda goes the wrong way. Splendid run by the mule. Early pressure from the mule, early aggression from the mule. Demon steers into trouble. The mule nearly flicking it with the with the forklift, and again coming in on the attack. Steady driving and control though by the demon. Dave Clutterbuck's team have driven well since the early stage of the gauntlet. Look at this. The mule trying to push it into the PPZ. They're feeling horny, horny, horny. But it's the demon surviving. Now edging the mule into that PPZ. I think the mule's actually steered itself in there in the end, which is trouble because the house robots come in for the duel with the mule. The demon is immobilised, I've been told. The demon's in trouble too. The mule's under attack from the house robot, but the demon can't move. Killalot comes in to finish it off. And the winner is Chaos 2 for team captain George Francis. Hi, I'm George Francis. This is Ian Swan, his son, Richard Swan. This is our robot, Chaos 2. Uh, There's two powerful motors to give it on each wheel and a high-powered gas pad flip up on the front. The great advantage of this is tremendous traction. Um, sticks to the ground very well and the flip-up is awesome. It'll throw another robot clean into the air. Crocodilitron was first to find that out, sent back to the swamps in the opening battle of this series for Chaos 2. Then Sonic from Hagley High hit an early low, uh, a high, uh, a low. Big G's thought they were fondue for a success, but they were grated. And in the semi-final, Tridented. Look at that. Flipper power as Trident was beaten. Again, Mace 2 was overturned. Couldn't right itself. The Shremak mechanism so important in this series. Chaos 2 went through. Steel Avenger and John Willoughby, his first award, long awaited. Hi, I'm John Willoughby, I'm team captain of the Pneumatic Fanatics. Hi, I'm Kevin Cockrell, and I operate the weapons. And this is Tony Bates, our third team member, who is on his way at the moment. This is our robot, the Steel Avenger. We've got a front cutting blade, we've got a very powerful pneumatic axe this year, and the big improvement is we've now got an uprighting mechanism. And this is our lucky mascot, which we hope to clear up in the arena with. The object is you knock the opponent out, you don't take on the arena or the pit. So try now. Yes! Down comes the axe, but it didn't penetrate the American truck wheel hub that protects the actual mechanics of Sir Chromalot. But certainly for me, the steel of entry is on top here. 
Feather Duster. Oh, look at the sweat pouring off Steve Merrill. He loves his music, his dancing, his jazz. But Steve, get fit, young man. Mind you, that's an enormous pot calling a small kettle black. So Chromalot digging in. But pit, 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 they're calling. They sense that the Steel Avengers victory is not. That's a waggling stick. <laughs> this was their boat and weapons of Chromalot. <laughs> In the pit with a final waggle. And the winner is... Derek. A surprise for many, perhaps. Flashy with the lifting arm and rear-mounted spinning disc made from aluminium, steel polypropane and stainless steel. Two 750-watt industrial motors generate 13-mile-an-hour top speeds. Lack of experience, though. In comes Sergeant Bash. Dominator 2 with a crash. Derek digging into the arena floor. Well, we don't take kindly to that, Derek. With your little fangs. Shutting up our lovely carpet, as it were. Dominator 2, you are now on a mission for us, then, to tidy things up. But not like that, you won't. Slamming into the arena wall, poor control. Ida Halloway, 35-year-old development engineer at the control, serves Dominator 2. Derek now slammed onto the arena side wall. Shunt is in there as well. Dominator 2 with the axe crashing down. Derek needs to get out of there. Can't get out. It's pinned in on the side wall. Dominator 2 doing all the work, all the pressing. The next award for the best engineered robot goes to Anarchy, a walker with a powerful axe and flipper. Mike and Amy Franklin and Steve Bickle, the best engineered robot, Anarchy. Basic robot wars rule, walkers can be twice as heavy, has very powerful weapons, but a slow top speed of just five miles an hour. Thor also has the pincers, as well as the, the hammer. It has the team with the blonde wigs. We also have Judge Shred two and a half, uh, with the judges' wigs. Don't get the two confused. There's Revolution 2, confusing things in a bit of a muddle and a melee. Judge Shred takes a blow there from Thor. <laughs> they're team great fun. Also, Anarchy in there with a couple of blows, and they're all having a go at the judge. They're the spinning, motivating weapons of Revolution 2 at 200 miles an hour, top speed, that flailing weaponry. Looks a little bit lightweight in body, though. If someone can get hold and flick it out. Thor almost rocking and rolling from Judge Shred's flipper, but down comes the hammer. Stroke axe again. That's Anarchy in trouble in the flame pit, but turning away. The walker, ponderous, but nonetheless effective. <laughs> 